Hello guys, this is the postmodern Czechoslovakian War Factory, and today I'm going to see if I can speedrun this game called Rollerball. This is a partial blind let's play. So what I mean by that is I first saw um, about, I'd say about 15 minutes worth of this uh, premiere of this um, guy named Yabik. Yabinikia, I believe that's his name, it's a German name, it's a smaller YouTuber, I made a let's play of this, he says he's not much of a gamer, and he mentioned, eh, maybe some of you guys more gamers could do speedrun, so I thought to go do that, and so I decided not to watch all the stream, all this thing, not to, not because, oh, I don't like his stuff, or what he was doing, or the premiere, or anything, but it was more just like, oh, yeah, if I'm gonna go and do a speed run, I want to keep some of it secret. Like I don't want, I know how some of the first few levels will go and I have an idea how the game goes. So it's not completely blind, but I want to have at least some of it blind. I don't want to just everything. That, that's all it's been a month ago too. So even though I saw a bit of that, it's, so yeah. I'll link that video of his in his channel description. And then this game was made by Vacant Knight. I'll link that too. So I believe there's all these different things. All right, full screen. Do that too. All right, let's see here. Space is jump. Move forward. W A S D. Okay. All right. Music left control. Mhm. Mm I want music again. Okay, hold on a second. I'm gonna go restart that. Okay, that's interesting. All right, got the music again. So yeah, let's see. Then you can change the skin to what the ball looks like. Ooh, mmm, mmm, mmm. Looks fancy. Looks nice. She had like a ball that actually looked like that, and it was black. Let's go. Oh, you know what? I'll do that. How'd a ball look like that? I'm simple, man. Not fancy. Anyways, let's just get to this. Let's let's see if I could speed run this bad boy. You can choose whatever level you want to do. I'm just gonna start from level one. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward. You just want to go and roll the ball into these guys. So yeah, don't worry. It gets more complicated. Let's see how it goes. Let's see. Oh, can I? Oh, yeah, that's right. I can't jump. That's right. Okay. There's a space bar. Yeah, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that space bar. All right, let's see if I can just go and jam and slam this. But yeah, I just thought, oh, yeah, that's right. You know, I was... <laughs> <laughs> so much more speed run, right? So, uh, yeah. Um, I just thought, because... I have ideas, don't get me wrong. Some of you guys, I got a lot of support from, dude, some, <laughs> <laughs> so much for one of speed run. I keep going over that. But, uh, you know, some of you guys did so much these nice things, like, about all the support and stuff after that community post I made. That was nice. I do have ideas, it's just, I don't know, I just, but I just haven't really cared for actually working on them in part, I don't know. I should look back over and think through. I have so many ideas in my head. It's just actually working towards some. So. But I'm glad you guys like the stuff. So that's good. You know. I can't complain. I mean I have almost nine. Almost have 900 subscribers. So I'm actually kind of surprised. I, I don't know what it is with you guys. I thought it's like okay. I saw it's like. I was hovering around 888, then I lose some, then I lose some, but then I gain some, then I lose some. But now I have more than I ever have before at 893, so I don't know what it is, because I haven't really done much when I just had this huge, like, jump in subscribers. So if you guys want to troll me and just unsubscribe after this, feel free. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. I mean, it's really your choice, but uh, yeah.
Oh my goodness, man, I thought I was gonna speed run this, you know, and I was like, oh yeah, I'm a gamer. But, uh, yeah, this might actually take a while, this might be harder than I thought. Roll, little buddy, roll. Oh, wait, oh, I have an idea. Probably slowing down would be better. Ooh. Let's see. Okay, no. It's just too close to the edge. But just... Ooh, okay. Try to see if I can move apart. Okay, well that works. Hey, it passed. Can I jump the whole leap? Oh, heck yeah, dude. I'm going the whole... Nope, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going there. Yeah, well, I just thought... I thought this wouldn't be too hard. And it's... I'm either more of a noob and a boomer at games than I think at times, or just... It's bad. Okay. Ooh, no. I just uh, wasn't too confident with that. Yeah, this might this might take a while. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are having a nice June. Hoping you have a nice month. It's when the June bugs come out. The sick June bugs. I was saw somebody I'm um, talking about uh made this post on minds about spiders and how the spiders how spiders are friends because even if you don't like spiders they deal with worse pests if you're in the house and mentioning June bugs and talking with the other person how they hated June bugs like a couple people and I said it's like I hate the June bugs because the June bugs they den they genocide everything else man well maybe not everything else like there's other bugs but I mean you don't see any December I mean well no no I I'm getting ahead of myself you don't see any January bugs you don't see any February bugs no March bugs no April bugs no May bugs no July bugs, not even for 4th of July. No August bugs, no September bugs, no October bugs, no November bugs, no December bugs. June bugs are just a bunch of sick freaks who just genocided all these other bugs. I didn't have any problem with these other bugs, but then the June bugs had to come in. They had to just kill them all, man. There was like this final solution <laughs> for all the other bugs, for all the other months. Man, I was just thinking that is kind of gay how the June bugs do that. <laughs> the secular folk religion. It's so disgusting, man. It's like, no, I will not give myself stupid pronouns. I will not wave the random colors of the weird looking flags. <laughs> I will not do it. I don't care. I would rather go and you put me in a gulag. And I die because my faith is not of the religious beliefs you want me to go along with. I do not want to consume your brainless ideologies. I will not live in the pot and eat with bugs. I will live free or I'll die hard. So yeah. So yeah, screw that woke crap, man. Well, no, yeah. Ah! I died there. I died. It's so sad. It's kind of weird. I'm just hearing sort of, um, you know, you hear? There's not the music. Oh wait, if I am, um... yeah. This isn't looking like a speed run. <laughs> I'll just think what other interesting things I could say. Maybe they'll be funny things. Maybe they'll be smart things. We'll, we'll see. Will it make it? No, it won't make it. Okay. Ooh, that was cool. 
first I was just going like, yeah, I'm going to speed run. And uh, I'm going to see. Oh, can I do it? Can I do it? No, but that was sick. <laughs> okay, let's actually be serious here. So much for like, yeah. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm going to speed run. I'm more of a gamer than Yavik in here. <laughs> <laughs> I need to slow down there. I need to just slow down. This is really applicable to the tortoise and the hare. That is really a good lesson, man. And I think that is applicable to lots of things. So, like, if you ever try investing or trading, any sort of, like, financial thing, you know, stocks or forex or, I mean, probably crypto. I mean, there's definitely techniques such as scalping. And, like, if you train yourself and you get good at that, you can make a boatload of money. I mean, there were a few times where I bought some stocks. Like, there was one time, I think it was with Kodak, the former... <laughs> who used to make cameras. But then, you know, people got all scared of the coronavirus. Because it killed a couple people. Okay, just say it only killed a couple. It's kind of... Obfuscated things. Like, more people than that died. Yeah, I, I'm not going to deny that. But I do think that the powers that be made it a bigger deal. But what I mean to go and say, instead of saying something that Susan Wojcicki won't like and probably will, um... And could get this video oofed from YouTube. If that happens, I can always link it from, like, Odyssey or some crap like that. I need to visit that more often. Alright, Libri. <clears throat> What do I say here instead of just ranting? So. Oh yeah, that's right. Kodak the camera thing. Investing. So. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so. I like bought some stocks of that, right? Back when it would, uh. Was being considered for the loan. The federal government was going to give them a little bit of a loan or something for them because they were planning on switching from making cameras and uh, doing something for the virus or something, like some sort of treatment or making masks or some crap. I can't remember what the deal was. This was a couple years ago. And uh, because of that news, so I think I bought it when it was like, I don't know, $18, $20. And I put a stop loss thing. Or no, I didn't put a stop loss. That would be if losing money. I mean, I did put stop loss. But I put a I put a limit. I would sell out when it went like, I don't know, maybe 30 or 25. I can't remember. I made a pretty good chunk. I think it was about like 500 from that. And it was just a couple minutes. But if I literally just like held on longer. And if I instead let the, um, let the stop loss rise with it. I could have like sold it that day for like 50 something. I mean... At the end of the day, I can't really complain about that one because I made money, you know? <laughs> Some people ended up losing money because it ended up being that they weren't being uh, completely uh, honest about their financial statements. So there were definitely people who uh, got bamboozled and they got screwed over. But um, not me. Though I could have gotten thousands. And it was stupid and how little I invested. Like, I think I got... With when I bought it, when I sold it, I think I got about 30% profit. But uh, if I held on, and if I did something like having the stop loss follow, and it would fall down naturally, I could have gotten like two or three times profit in like less than an hour. It's been so retarded. But it, that's normally not how it works. I was literally the right day at the right time. You can't just rely on stuff like that. That that wasn't even like really much technique. That was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> Look at this article and other things. But um go back to that. But normally it doesn't always work like that. Like even if you're doing um like looking at fundamentals and other things, like even people who are in the long term and manipulating markets and have a bunch of money like Warren Buffett, even those people, even they sometimes lose money. They sometimes lose. You're not always going to win. It's more about, in the long term, winning more than you lose. 
and knowing when you do lose when to just fold and and like knowing when you do win how to like hold on it's just one of those things and especially with things that are more shorter term harder like if you're gonna scalp or if you're doing stuff like forex like you're gonna lose more money like you're gonna lose money until you start winning money and it could take like a long time it could take years that's why they talk about doing paper trading i'm saying this like that was pretty good i had some other good wins but i had like some stupid things i did like forex like sometimes i just did things or then there's binary options like you could actually do that in an unsketchy legal way but man i just don't so i'm bringing all this up because i just I just hate the comments on YouTube and then other social media where there's this guy and it like it will start out nice. It's like, oh yeah, investing in crypto is great. It's good to, you know, start out with something nice and good like crypto is great. Bitcoin has a worth to it. Unlike the US dollars, it actually has a limited amount that will like make so supply or like, you know, or they'll say like, even if they won't go to that, they'll say something else like, the US dollar has its own problems or it's you want to have some other thing so it's like do crypto and it's like that's great that's great I gotcha I gotcha man I you know I'm not a crypto bro but I mean it has its things to it and I think it's at least worth looking into but then they say yeah and you can make lots of money I'm like that's cool well, what what about though if it falls in value or or what about when you're trading and you make a stupid trade and you lose a bunch of money or sometimes even lose your account i mean i mean with trading literally especially short term your psychology goes against you like it's one of those literal the tortoise and the hare thing like i was saying with the game because it's like some of these levels just earlier you saw it's like i would have gone through faster if i actually went slower this might be one example right here but if you slow down and take your time you might actually get things done quicker and that's how it works a lot of times with trading and investing. You, lots of times you're just going to lose money and even the good ones are. And so like these people would make these crypto things and they're like, yeah, you can make so much money by, um, you know, investing in Bitcoin. And, and look at this, uh, this sketchy person on Telegram with this number. And then you get like, mm, 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 yeah, I want a thing. And I'm like have hundreds of thousands of dollars that I got on profit and I'm like that's cool bro like there's so many things it's like okay you, even if even if you did win the thousands of dollars like um did you at first lose a bunch of money before you won it like you know to have your 150,000 okay one person mentioned 150,000 on mine so it's not just YouTube they do this other things too they probably they do it everywhere they're just a bunch of weirdo freaks and they're sick punks who are just getting people into scams and stupid things. Like, I'm not saying you can't get money off of it, but, like, the people who are honest and who care for you when it comes to trading and financing, they won't say, oh, yeah, you can make so much money. Or, I mean, they'll say that a bit, but they'll really be like, you're going to lose money. Like, honestly, the dudes who, like, actually know at least a bit of their salt. I'm not one of them. I just more, I, <laughs> I say I'm not one of them. But I mean, I mean in the sense that, I, like, I, I know about um, losing money enough to be like, try to avoid what I'm doing or at least be smarter about it when you like go about it than I've been in the past. Like I've done some, I've been rash with some things. Let's just say that. So stocks have been the only ones that have really been, had any moderate amount of success to it. And even then it's a mixed bag. So, but like the people who know their salt will talk about how for years they'd practice and they'd lose money and they'd try different things and they'd do lots of paper trading and they finally get a system down. And they finally get a system down. And even then they'll still say that they lose money lots of times. There's some people they'll be profitable and they'll have more losses and wins uh, but in order to be more profitable without that way they would win a lot more than they lose to make up for the quantity so 
when I just see people making these comments on YouTube being like, yeah, man, you should, you know, like I have this person named Jane Bob Doofus Face, you know, she's my person who helps me out and I win all this money. It's like, you know, they're not mentioning about how they lose money. They're not mentioning about the risk involved it's just i got so much money you should do it too and it's just it's disgusting it's not and just so many people fall into crap like that like, i think it was a year or two ago and i posted this on my mind thing too and there was some guy on youtube comments and it was actually like one of these forex videos where the guy was talking about uh risk and things like that and talking about things you want to do and so like even there they'll just like they'll rate these comment sections on these people who actually like seem like they're decent human beings and being honest about the fact that there's risk to it and not everybody is going to win in fact most people aren't going to be profitable and they'll just say this garbage this absolute trash oh there we go there we go. I should have jumped over the hammer. Man, that took a long time. Also worse at rambling than I think. So I just... I just hate it. It just comes off of scams. It's just... You know, I've done stupid things. It's not anybody else's fault that I've... Made stupid trades and lost a bunch of money doing things and... I'm a poor dude. Like disappointing all it sucks but it doesn't help me to pretend like hey you know you should go and listen to my advice it's like you know and that's another thing too about following different gurus and things like you just have to be careful man like I think there can be a place for people who actually like know their stuff and like taking their advice and trading but there's I bet you could easily like there's people who can make scams for example one form of a scam I think it was No Not Since Forex I was talking about. And I think it was the idea where it's like, you could let's say, let's say I chose six of you people. I'm not planning on doing this. Gosh, I'd be terrible at scamming if I literally tell you how I could scam you. <laughs> I'm trying to scam you. I'd be so, I'm going to be so stupid. But, um, <laughs> but, um, what was it? So, <laughs> But he was saying that, let's say, and I have six people. So let's say postmodern here. You know, I am Tim Oteo. I decide to get six of you guys. And I don't know, for some weird reason, I have your emails or discords, you know, have like a discord thing or have an email thing. And I like to six of you guys. I'm like, hey, dudes, I really like you. You're my favorite viewers. I love you more than everybody else who watches my channel. And I know how to make money off of Forex. So I'm going to tell you guys what's up for only this special premium price. And so basically what I do with Forex, well, I'll explain how Forex works. So Forex is just money exchanges, different currencies. So you could buy um, U.S. dollars with euro or you could buy euro for US dollars and they're pitted against each other like that. Euro USD I believe is what it is for that one. So it doesn't really change much so you use leverage. But with the leverage of like let's say 50 to 1 or even 25 to 1 you can even just like fractions of pennies but if you like of changes but if you like put a lot of money into it, it can mean a world of difference in the amount that you're investing in so you got that right so because of that and using that I could have say okay to three of you okay the euro is gonna become more valuable to the dollar so could have you say buy the euro but then the others, you would say, three of you, I'd say, okay, it's going to go down to the, um, whatchamacallit, 
bit more. No, and I can just make up whatever fake, funny money analysis I have. And you know what? Half of you guys are going to go win anyways. And I got money. Because I told you, it's like, I'll only tell you this secret knowledge if you give me the moolah. So, so I make money off of it. You know, half of you guys hate it. You know, hate me, probably unsubscribe, say bad stuff. But the other half will be like, I don't know what those guys are talking about. Tim, he knows his stuff, man. Like, this guy, he made me a bunch of money on Forex. Which me again, and maybe, you know, with your good referrals, some more people will follow me. And I just keep the scam rolling. Because if you can invest both ways, and you know, and either going to go up or down, pretty pretty easy for me, right? As long as, sure, I won't be more popular, but if I can do it and then get out, you have a nice amount of money, I could... I could be doing pretty good financially. So, I mean, yeah, that's... So, yeah. Oh, gosh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, oh, I'm dead. I'm dying. <laughs> okay, so maybe what I need to do... Not like that. Okay. This one's a tricky little level. Hope you enjoy my um little rant there. Hope you guys don't feel scammed with this let's play. It's it's definitely not a speed run. If somebody else actually wants a really speed run man, go for it. Oh gosh, it slows down. That's hard, man. Okay, so I must continue. I must continue. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh man, goodness. What is happening? I thought I pressed the space bar there and it just went Jimmy Jam nowhere. All right, let's try this again. Whoop. No, no. Okay. That was scary. Okay. Oh, man. That's weird, though. I wonder why... Because I thought I pressed the space bar when I got really... Gosh, man, my key, my computer may be janky, man. It wouldn't be the first time. There is a time. I hope I can keep this thing running, man. This computer, this computer I'm using right here, she's been a faithful little baby. She's been with me for, I believe, half a decade. And I just, I mean, I love her, man. I, um, to my computer, I added, a. Uh, Please. Oh my goodness, thank God. Okay. Oh, 26, and it ends at... Ends at uh, 31, so I'm five levels. But this computer's been with me, I believe, for more than half a decade. I can always look up the website I bought her at, you know. And just... She was a pretty penny. She's SSD. So not the most memory, but it's a faster one. Gosh, compared to last level. This unironically feels like it's gonna be easier. Yep. But uh, yeah. No, she has a pretty penny, but it has SSD. Started with only 12 RAM, but I could. Um, switch out one of the RAM sticks and upgrade it at 20 gigabytes of RAM, which helped without some of the fancier videos I made. Now they're editing things, and I might want to more of that, but man, I just, I hope that she works well for a while. I mean, there's part of me that would just, like, get a nicer job and other things and have some stuff saved up. I like to have another computer and just have it, like, be, like, have a ridiculous amount of RAM, and if I could learn how to, like, 
Make some really crazy crap, man. That'd be cool. Got the inspiration for that. I mean, I don't n need, like, in some ways, but, like, man. Like, some of those things and animations people can make, dude, it's, it's amazing what you can do nowadays. I don't know. I'm dead. It's kind of cool, though, man, just to see how far it shoots. That's a fun thing. Uh, Vacant Night. I just like to say this is a nice game that you got here. Um, y'all be in here. Uh, thank you for uh, playing this. I said earlier I didn't um, watch all your. Oh my goodness. Oh, Jim Bob Jamity Jam Jam. <sighs> oh no. Stop it, little Bib Bobs. Ah! <laughs> I mean, what the bit, Bob? Some of you guys, especially are new to the channel, are like, what the funky, crunchy monkey is he talking about? Okay, so I wanna. Mm, that's the thing, though. I feel like I have to go fast with the hammers. And then I. Okay, I feel like I have to go fast with the hammers and go slow. So, um, boop. Okay. Ah, oh, that was that was retarded. What the? <laughs> that was stupid. That was stupid. <laughs> I don't know. Huh? Whoa, whoa! Will you imagine that? Oh, oh no! Oh, but that did give me a thought though. If I could just go straight by. Oh no. They ate me. Mm, even the handle. I mean, the handle isn't as bad a hit as the mallet, but it it gets you, man. They will they will eat you alive. They're like some sick little puppies, man. All right, hold on. Let's see. Oh. Oh man. Okay, I was trying to see how far it could go. Okay, back to being serious here. Oh man. I have to like move it a little out of the way. No, that's stupid. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? I don't know. Okay. Alright, let's just. I was doing pretty well if I can just jump over. Okay, but the second one is the trickier one. First one, though, if I can jump over that. Move over to this side. And then I jump. And I jump. But then I have too much momentum and I'm going the wrong way. So if I like, ah oh man, uh, see I like press the keyboard. I don't. I mean, not the keyboard. I press specifically the space key for the jump. I don't understand why that is. It's like it seems I have to press it harder. I don't know. I mean, my computer's mostly good, but there's like little weird things like that. Like sometimes I press. I don't know. I mean, I've. I'm more feeling like blaming on the computer. Maybe there's something weird with the game. I mean, but hey, even a simple game's hard to make. It's like animation. And that's one of the things. Like, if it's a piece of music, I feel like it's easier for me personally to crap on a bit. Not that I mean to, like, crap on something. But, like, I have a bit of... one. I mean, one is that I have experience making music. If you guys know, that's actually one of the first things I did, and I I need to get back into the flute and banjo because I'm out of it. I'm not I'm not an amazing musician. Part of it's hard though too getting back into it after a while because, you know, you sounded better when it's been a long time. Wait wait wait, can I actually? Whoa no, it was too much for that one, but it wasn't enough to. That was cool though. I don't think the hammer will always be that helpful.
why I don't understand I pressed it maybe I need to not be rolling forward when I press it. I just but I feel like I have other times I don't quite comprehend why it does that with the glass it's kind of weird it is kind of weird so I just I can't tell if that's a problem with my computer or if that's just a weird thing with the game that maybe sometimes the glass isn't really it's responsive I thought the hammers were going to make it bad but so much for that if I just stopped a little bit I would have won this level by accident I guess that's a way if you get them to hit just right oh man should have just went forward more faith Nah, I don't want to hit the hammer like that. So I hit the hammer straight up, man. That's really painful when you get so close. But then it's so far. Okay. Alright. You know what? That's okay. I'm taking it, man. I could have done it as a fluke, but I'm doing it. Okay, let's see. Interesting. Okay, I don't know. Ooh, wow. Okay, I saw Yabi can you hear hit one of those. I guess it's kind of cool and good that I did that. You guys haven't played this could see what, what happens. Oh gosh, you guys probably saw that mouse curse the whole time. Oh gosh, ooh. Okay. So even if I don't jump on it, they just bop me into the air. They bop me. Bopped him. Bopped him right on the head with my head. And I said, don't you ever say that. You could hurt someone's feelings. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What, what? Was that? Was that the last one? Hold on. Was that literally the last level? Oh gosh. Whoa. Whoa, it's so slow. Whoa. Dude. Dun 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 What is going on? No. Okay, um, <laughs> that was, that was melodramatic, uh, oh, okay, alright, okay, let's go, come on, let's go, let's go, let's, ow, <laughs> okay, see, I'm kind of confused, I thought this was only level 29 or something, I thought that last one was level 30, but, I just like, I don't know how to just, anyways, whatever. If I beat this one again, then I can see what level I'm actually on. Maybe I already beat the whole game. Maybe this is just being redundant. There we go. Okay, next level. Oh, wow, that was level 30. Okay, so this is the last one. I already beat it. Whatever. You gotta see it a second time. So I feel like there's a couple ways you can do it. You can either get it right there in that hole, or you just uh, go around and just be careful not hit those. So, um, yeah, the game is uh, it's pretty fun. It's pretty good. It's pretty groovy. It wasn't really a speed run. I guess I'm not as much of an epic gamer as I thought. I'm gonna drink my tea that was hot but getting cold. It's all good tea. It's way better hot. But uh, yeah. So um, you can. I mean, it's sort of like Animorphs, you know, or like 
terraforming or like some other thing you can like have all these different skins so uh, yeah uh, vacant night good job on this game oh yeah that's right I was talking about uh giving crap about people's creations or something yeah I feel like with music it's easier and I'm not one to just be like oh yeah I just gotta give people crap about like I like to if I criticize I'd like to think of some sort of like reason why I don't think it's the best you know I don't like being that guy I just said yeah your thing sucks <laughs> just walk out of the room if I'm gonna say it sucks or if it's not the best I like to at least say because it really sucks when you're the guy who does that and then somebody just says yeah it sucks and walks out doesn't explain I mean yeah it's cool we get to be giga chad but yeah I just and also I feel like too with music like it I, I mean it's definitely hard to master and it can be a lifetime to master even an instrument or any type of music especially some instruments man people say the banjo is hard I didn't get back into that but I don't know I think Scott, great Scottish bagpipes be a lot harder than banjo honestly but uh oh cool there's a little dog hi there Simon how's it going um But regardless, it's not a competition. I mean, I was saying what's the e hardest, in what's the easiest instrument to learn is the one you want to learn, you know, because you have a desire to work on it. Um, but I feel like almost anybody can, like, at least learn, like, the first few notes on the piano fairly easily or learn a couple guitar chords, so or anything. I don't mean to rib on those instruments. I'd say piano is probably one of the hardest to master, and guitar is probably yeah i'd say it's probably more versatile easy to get into compared to lots like i mean violin sounds one of the most beautiful things but sounds terrible when you're first starting out for a long time what i hear from other people but piano and guitar i'd say they're pretty easy to get into i mean they take a long time to master and there's so much you could do with them and i mean there's so many different styles of guitar playing and other things that are more than just three or four chords but uh but I feel like my point is is I feel like with music you can make something that even if it doesn't sound amazing it sounds good it sounds good it sounds pleasant and other people even if it's just your mom or just a couple friends are gonna say that sounds nice and not just simply because it's like your mom just always wants to be the person who encourages you even if everybody else doesn't care but actually honestly thinks it sounds nice I feel like with animation and probably with video games, I don't think they're that easy to actually jump in and say, hey, this game, like, I mean, just start out with this. I mean, you have, I mean, this is a fairly simple design. I mean, you have a ball and it rolls and you have different backgrounds that change, but you have to have, there's the coding and the programming uh, there's a mechanism to make it so like there's momentum like the faster you go like it builds up speed like a snowball but and uh, there's different effects with like height and other thing like it's simple but there's all these different details and I mean there could be part of me that's saying it'd be hard to get into because I never actually worked on a game of any significant amount I'd like to that'd be kind of cool don't know if I'll get around to that there's a lot of things I'd like to do that I probably well I shouldn't say probably but I just I may get to may not get to it's, it's hard to say but just I just going back through this there's just so many details like it's not just I don't know there's just a lot of things I don't think it's like a guitar piano where yeah of course you're not going to master after a couple hours but you'd still be able to at least sort of maybe play a decent thing with like one finger poking around you play Mary had a little lamb or something the piano or like know how to strum a couple of chords on guitar this thing I just feel like like even just making this ball even if you don't have the ball move 
and just like drawing the ball and then putting it into something like probably like blender or something in 3d even just having that ball you know and having it be perfectly circular as it is like not even moving around like it but just just the ball let's see if i can get it to stop 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 bad ball why don't you stop but just 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 simply alone making that before you even put in animations and other things I mean you have to know about drawing and shading and perspective there's so many things then you add on these animations add on all these different things with the momentum like how it slows down how it speeds up different things so many details with that so I mean I don't know maybe that's why the glass part when you land on the glass that's not a good one but maybe when you land on the glass like when you have like things like that but there's a glass and they break through maybe that's why sometimes it can't jump because of the momentum and maybe that's why, because it's slowing down, so maybe that's why it messes. Because that was the one thing I was thinking, oh yeah, maybe that's an actual problem, but maybe that's more of a physics thing. It's kind of interesting. Like, was that intentional, was it not? I don't know. Either way, I think you did a good job Bake at Night, so hope you end up, you like doing this and you plan on making more games, man. I hope you keep on doing it, man. If you have other ones you make and like me test or whatever feel free so yeah i'll definitely link to your channel it was fun harder than i thought sorry dudes that was no speed run hope you enjoyed uh learning about a uh, just spam comments on youtube as well <laughs> so yeah if you want to go and invest and trade and things i mean i'm not one to stop you but uh be prepared to lose money. You could gain money. You could gain money, but uh, be prepared to lose. Lots of big banks and whales definitely manipulate stuff too. And and if you do something, especially short term, a bit like you can learn how to be profitable, but it will take you a while. I, gosh, I haven't been profitable with most of that stuff. So, so yeah. I mean, I might get back into it, but I'm a lot more leery now. I'm like, man, that was stupid. That was a lot of money. I sometimes it just felt like burning. Some of those things are not even do like I binary options. That was like gambling. That was retarded. All right, dudes. Have a good one. God bless. Bye bye.